Good morning, good morning. I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, it's Monday, so let's just go straight to our quick analysis. So if you still remember a few weeks ago, guys, I started a, an account with 51 rents. So that account, yeah, you can see that that is this account. So I think a few, few days later, that account was this. Uh, I tried to manage to, to push that account to go a little bit high, grow that account. So I don't know if this will be quite visible on your site, but I hope it will. So I tried to take that uh, to 200 something. And from there, I started to experience some very nice push to the upside. But it was not as easy as people maybe always think that you just take an account from 0 to 100 very quick. We take some losses here and there. And that comes from also some scalping uh, because I just want the account to grow. And again, from that is actually uh, the mindset of saying, you know what? I'm willing to lose this account because I started from 50 rands. You see, I'm not saying that you just have to lose some cash. You see, so throughout those uh, those days and those weeks, uh, I managed to grow that account to 2.5. So from here, obviously, the target will be maybe uh, maybe 10k or any any amount. Now I can trade nicely without actually over risking because from 50 rands actually is just. The smaller account, it's actually a risk before you even trade. So now that account, uh, that, that account that you saw from 51 rand is now on 2.5. So I will just keep updating you guys. But sometimes I forget because uh, to me, just to put the video on top of this video, whatever, editing takes time. And you, so, you see, so that's why I don't really like to just post everything. So, and I just don't really like to edit here and there, you see. So, but as long as you can see that progress, yes, it's going very well. So, someone can ask, Kenzo, uh, maybe did you have some uh, negatives and st stuff like that? Yes, a lot. So, I nearly blew, uh, blew that, that account. But since we moved from 50 to, to 200 very quick, I, I made sure that those losses were a little bit smaller. I think maybe I'll just make it the whole video, not about the analysis and just try to go through that video where I took some losses, where I made some money and stuff like that. But most likely those trades that are going to be different uh, different from what I send in the group Y because there I'm just over risking uh, just to get some quick cash. And actually that is not really sustainable to be honest because one mistake you can actually lose. But just because we also have the experience, that also helps us. We know, oh, it's time for me to get out. Because after that 51 rands, I was buying. The same day, I think, or later, it's when NASDAQ was melting, you see. So I managed to get out, but I did not really try to take any sell. I was out, I think, maybe for one or two days and started to go back, tried to scalp gold also, you see. So, yeah, without wasting your time, I thought maybe I should update you with that. I think I saw a comment uh, talking about that account. I even forgot about posting, you see. Sometimes we do so many things. I start something. I start a video, uh, maybe an account now saying, oh, guys, I'm going to track this video one, two, three. Once I reach 4,000, 5,000, I even forget that I was trying to grow that account. Sometimes I even eat the money or withdraw, you see. So, because I'm human, guys, it's not like maybe... I just have money laying all over the place. Sometimes I can just withdraw that and even forget that I was trying to grow that account to show my people that it's actually possible. Yes, it's possible, but it's quite difficult. If you have enough, it's better to start with enough cash. But if you don't really have uh, enough uh, funds, yeah, you can still start more small, but just know that most likely it's easier to, to go back to zero. You start with 50 rands, one mistake, back to zero so you have to deposit and when you check that can also delay your time because you might end up depositing depositing more than five times making some money here and there and then after you lose you see and also overconfident sometimes just because you you, you were able to take that 50 rents to 2000 or whatever the amount sometimes you feel like yo oh i got it right uh, everything is gonna be well no you just do one mistake then it's gone you see and 
it this game guys you can predict it much but i think predicting predicting is not really enough you need to have the skill the knowledge and the experience to understand the situations to understand economic news or fundamentals they can also help uh, it's not really about just trading trading non-stop sometimes we trade and we lose sometimes we have this win, uh, losing streaks like those weeks yes we did have some losing streaks for quite some time uh, but at the end of the day we still bounce back man because we have the knowledge so it's not really about um, winning every day you are still gonna take some losses here and there so i just wanted to show other maybe you already see this we did smash gold guys but I, I still believe that this is gonna go even higher so if you are part of the team once we reach halfway there please try to lock your profit or you can just close if you want because i think the market will still bounce back before we see a very nice push we also had usd chf i think this is also trying to go lower it i it seems like the dollar is losing some momentum dollar is losing some momentum but we'll just do some quick analysis and try to see what's really happening so if you are new to this channel don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends trying to uh, actually recovering from flu yes as it was actually a very not so good weekend so i think i showed you that chf chf i will start there trying to go higher some i will just skip because i don't really want to make this video very long i think on uh, usd chf you can see that already the market did uh, reach uh, our resistance here actually we we're supposed to get around this level but just because we had a resistance around that level it was not going to be easier for me just to jump in there so i had to wait for the market uh, to actually uh, cross to cross around this level that's why we had a sell and already we are in a smaller profit remember this is a daily time frame so i'm still expecting to see the market going even lower uh, we can call it a smaller swing i don't think we have any economic or very strong economic uh, events this week Oh, we have, I think Powell is going to speak, whatever. We'll see that. I think I showed you that yesterday. Go check there. And yeah, you will see what's really happening on the economic calendar. So I'm expecting to see a nice uh, sell from this level. So, so that's not really something that is going to be difficult, I, I guess. So let's push to the next one. USD Canada. USD Canada. Okay, okay. USD Canada. Let's see okay from my side okay let's look at this guys or let's just go on a daily time frame just for everyone to understand or to see what i'm trying to show uh you here i think on top here we have this umbrella or this roofing you see this uh, higher level there we can call that a resistance we can see that the market is actually respecting this zone this zone is where the market is respecting around 1.3 let's say 1.39,000 or between that between 39,000 and 40,000 so yeah that is actually a very strong zone but when we check it on the other side yes this is actually a very nice uptrend structure it's just that the market will start to uh, squeeze around this area until we see a proper sell but it's not a new thing because we also had that here and then the market did the same thing so what we can do now as we already understand that on top there we have a very strong a resistant area our job is to do what is to draw our support area because that is the one that's something that is quite clear and obvious uh, we can have double lines like that yeah you see that i like that now you can see this area it's where i said that it's actually a resistance maybe you might not really see that but you can see that i mean you might not see that on a smaller time frame but that makes sense but if you already understand what's really happening you can just place this here so that your chart can be nice and clean you understand what's really happening so where the market is at uh, currently we will be expecting to see the market bouncing back unless if maybe the market tries to break out here then we can say yo okay it's fine the market maybe it's ready to sell but at the moment it shows us that the market might actually continue going up a similar way you can see here the market did touch the areas and started to go higher even there we expect the same thing on top yes we are we're gonna have that nice resistant area 
So this is actually a very nice uptrend. And where we are, it's actually a very nice area for us to look for that buy. I think I sup I'm supposed to send this to my people in the group. So that can be a very proper buy, you see. So let's push to the next one. I will be sending that actually very quick. So on New Zealand dollar, guys, for those who want to be part of the team, we still extended that special at, for another week. So if you want to be part of the team, so, uh, pause that video and check which uh, service do you want there or signal package do you want. If you want monthly or you want yearly or lifetime, it's up to you. Just let me know. Um, on New Zealand here, we have a very nice structure. We can easily see that we are coming from top to bottom. Do you see that? So we'll try to make sure that our, our structure is quite clean here. Uh, we have something like that. No, I think this is quite big. Let's go on a four hours time frame because this structures can be quite big and you find yourself drawing this trend lines from far and they can still make sense, you see. So I will just try to draw it from here. I will cover this so that I don't really fall for any breakouts. I will then do it, do it like that and have a double structure like that. So that will cover any fake move. So now I have my structure like that. So this is a very nice downtrend structure. If the market breaks out, obviously, I will expect to see, uh, to see a nice bullish move. But where we are now, I can say there is a possibility for the market to do what? To reverse. That is actually quite possible. On New Zealand USD. I don't really trade it that much. Uh, but yeah, that's what we see at the moment. So now we are on, on, on USD, not USD. We are on AUD USD. What's really happening? We are coming from a very, a very nice structure. The market was uptrending around this level and the market already broke out of that. So we had a smaller downtrend structure. We had a smaller downtrend structure from this area. It was quite aggressive. You can see out of that. So the market was selling there. So now, obviously, the market is trying to recover uh, that structure. So what we can do is to try to understand what's really happening. I think I already see this area. Do you see that area or that level? So this is what we have at the moment. So we can also cover that. Uh, that is the lowest area that we had. So at the moment, the market is trying to show us that it's, it's actually trying to uh, show us an uptrend structure. Yes, don't force through something like this if it doesn't really make sense because we are just coming from this aggressive uh, downtrend structure so this was still in a ranging structure this was a ranging structure so if you draw your trend lines don't start around here so it's it might still make sense but it's better to start it where the structure was already showing us a proper uptrend structure here the market was just reversing from that downtrend that's why we had that now we should have something like that. But at the moment, I think it's quite straightforward. Uh, around this area, maybe we will have a nice resistance. Then the market will start to move like that. So what we know is we won't miss, actually. We won't miss this one. Let, let the market reverse, then we can jump on that. At the moment, I will say, yes, uh, I'm expecting to see a very nice bullish move. I'm expecting to see a very nice bullish move. Now, what's really happening on a uh, CAD JPY? I will uh, firstly go on a daily time frame just to make sure that you can see everything nice there. Uh, but the overall structure, we know that we are coming from uh, this nice uptrend. We were on this nice uptrend. It was very aggressive, by the way. But from these areas, you can see that when the market reversed, it shows us that it was a very nice structure also. This is also a very nice and stronger support. And from there, we started to see the market trying to go higher. Yes, there is a chance for the market to go even lower to test that again before going up. But at the moment, let's just mark that area. Because the market is trying, it, uh, it's trying its best to recover. So we can't forget this uptrend there. So now we see that, okay, the market was aggressively bullish. After that aggressive bullish momentum, we started to see also this bullish reversal. Uh, the market started to sell aggressively so. Obviously, I'm expecting to see the market doing what? The market to uh, recovering, maybe to reach this level where it broke out before 
uh, seeing a proper sell. But at the moment, it seems like the market is going to reverse because I think we had something like this around this level as a resistance because we we're expecting to see a nice co uh, continuation of that buy. But it seems like the market is trying to reverse here and there. Uh, maybe JPY is quite strong. So this is what we have. So at the moment, we have a structure like this. You can see this on a four hours time frame. It doesn't really look good. But on, on a daily time frame, it's actually a very nice structure. So this is what we have. The question will be, is the market going to play around here or maybe the market break out of that? It's up to the market. If the market breaks out, that, it, that will be fine. Or maybe someone can say, Kenzo, don't you see a structure like this? Yes, we can also consider that. But remember, we don't really have to draw uh, trends from inside the trend. We can draw it like that. And we can cut it like that, you see. So we don't really have to draw it inside a certain trend. So if we draw it like this, to me, that doesn't really make sense. Obviously, we were supposed to cover that. So which means this trend is not really valid. Uh, th that diagonal structure is not really valid. So now we can have something like this. And then we can wait. Uh, we can just wait and see. I think we can mark this area. Then we can wait and see if maybe we get any type of a move. That will help us to know if maybe we're supposed to buy or we're supposed to sell. But at the moment, to me, I, I, I'm just supposed to stay out. I, I am supposed to stay out. The market really uh, gives us some serious swings. Uh, but at the moment, I think it's better, way much better to stay out of the market. So now we are on Bitcoin. What's really happening on Bitcoin? You can easily see that the market has been actually going up for quite some time. It's been like seriously pushing up. Uh, so what we can do now is quite straightforward. I think the market was coming from this area. I said that the market gave us this type of a breakout. But what can we do at the moment? Nothing, nothing much. So it means the market is struggling to go higher. We also had a proper breakout, but very quick, the market did reverse. You see that? This is what we have on Bitcoin. So on top there you can see someone can say kenzo i see a structure like that yeah you are correct but also the bigger one is we come in from this nice uptrend sometimes this type of moves they can actually confuse so we can easily see that every time once the market touches this area we see a bounce back so we have we can still mark these areas and see what's really happening but with this type of a move there is a chance that maybe the market is trying to do it to continue going even lower. We can see that is since we reached this highest level around 72k, the market struggled to go even higher. Maybe the market will end up breaking uh, to the downside. If it doesn't really uh, break to the downside, we will see the market trying uh, to go even uh, higher to the upside. So, but at the moment, we can just relax and see. So, what's really happening on Euro USD? What time? Okay, the video is getting longer. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, this is what we had on uh, Euro USD, guys. So, we had a structure like that. Oh, this is a it's a daily time frame. That is correct, but I think we we need to start it from there, because sometimes daily time frame can be way way too big, to a point where you will end up not even trading. If you are a day trader like me, so you have to understand your time frames. So for me to trade, I was going to use four hours time frame. So which means something like this was going to work in my favor. So I will have something like that. You see that. So now we can see that we are coming from this nice downtrend structure. And then you can see it was moving very nice and the market broke out here. So we're expecting to see the market continuing to go to the upset. I'm expecting to see a nice bullish move. Yes, the market might play games around, but we know very well that the market just broke out of that a nice uh, resistant area. So we're expecting to see the market uh, going even higher. So we can throw this resistant support thing. And if maybe the market breaks out, we will look for that buy. Around this area, once the market retest again, we can still look for that buy. I'm expecting to see... A continuation of that buy so let's push to the next one yeah these things are a lot guys a lot i think i started from way way too lower so euro jpy uh, quite straightforward structure a very nice uptrend the market broke out i'm expecting to see the market trying to 
reach this area where it broke out so let's just zoom a little bit closer uh, the market broke out but we expecting maybe to the market to reach that uh, higher level at the moment it seems like the market uh, it was trying to recover aggressively and that was actually good that was actually good so we saw the market trying to go higher but this seems to be a very proper resistance so the question is will the market respect uh, this area and touch maybe this support again it's possible this is the lowest area that we touched uh, after this bullish move so which means there is a chance for the market to touch that again before going even higher or maybe or maybe if the market breaks this resistance we can now look for a that buy i think we did have a nice buy around this level and the market did give us something very nice but it seems like the market is trying to reverse here and there but it's fine there is nothing we can do at the moment gbp jpy quite similar structures guys coming from this nice uptrend structure now the market is trying to show us some sort of reversals we welcome that because even though we're trying to see that we're trying to get a proper reversal it doesn't really mean that the market won't reverse yes the market did sell we can just expect a straight move to the upside around this level it was a very proper i think yeah it was a proper resistance around this level so this might be a very nice retest i think also on that you you uh, euro jpy the market was having this type of a structure so i'm expecting to see a very nice push to the upside even though maybe there is a chance for the market to touch this le lowest level uh, before we see a nice recovery but what we know is the market at the end of the day might st still keep uh, pushing even higher i'm expecting the market to reach that highest level uh, maybe this or there or we can just use a very thicker area around that zone it's where the market might actually touch before uh, trying to sell on gbp jpy usd jpy what's really happening uh, we can easily see that uh, the market also here it's giving us a very nice structure but this one is quite different because i think this can give us some very nice trades uh, already we see that the market is touching our let me just go on a daily i think maybe this can be nice and clean i want this candlesticks to be thicker a little bit thicker because this moves way like way too big so sometimes on your side you might uh, see this candlesticks to be quite smaller so you can see this area is quite very nice structure so on this one if you are a swing trader i think a nice bullish move something like that for a very long time maybe two weeks three weeks the market might still reach that level but remember usd jpy sometimes can be quite slower i'm expecting to see a nice reversal as we are still on this nice uptrend i think this sell there it's it's a very good thing and it takes time to happen and i think the market will just reverse non-stop even though the market sometimes might try to, to reverse here and there so dollar index hey man uh, this this thing i started very very low we just reached dollar index what's that happening on dollar index we can easily see that you know what uh, the market it was it's still actually on that uptrend if we start to connect with this current move and we can see that the market is actually struggling around that level yes we come in from another area where we can say the market was on an uptrend but on a forward time frame once we go on a daily time frame we can easily see that no man we are still on that nice uptrend unless if the market breaks out of this area and it shows us that the market is trying to do that the market was actually going up and that means the dollar it was quite stronger yes we already know that uh, the, the 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 rates cuts are coming maybe 25 basis points 50 or 75 it's up to powell uh, but at the moment we know very well that the dollar is getting weaker and weaker and what i see here is the market is breaking out of that support so which means we will start to see uh, that melt down i think it's going to speak twice this week so that might also have some effects but we will see we will see what will happen because those are like meetings or speech so mostly you can't know by the by numbers because they don't really talk about numbers they will just try to answer some questions you see? so saying you will know what will happen sometimes it's just guessing and you can get guess it uh, guess it right sometimes uh, but hey 
you can't be just profitable by guessing every day. So you have to know your story. So this is GBP USD. What's really happening? We can easily see that the structure is very clean there. Uh, we're expecting a continuation of that nice buy. We can see that the market is going up. So around this level, it's obviously our resistance. Maybe the market will respect that level and go lower and continue like that. Or maybe the market will break out. If it breaks out, we will be looking for that buy. We won't be uh, looking for a sell here. Or maybe for those who want to scalp because we can't... I'm not going to look for a sell, especially when I know that the market is actually on an uptrend. So going against the trend, it's against my strategy. But yeah, sometimes we can do that if maybe we're talking about stocks like Nasdaq or in US status, if it makes sense. But if it doesn't really make sense, obviously, you just have to stay out of the market. Gold. What's really happening on gold? We've been preaching about gold for quite some time. And yeah, we are still on that nice uptrend. We had a very proper resistance there. The market is breaking out. Obviously, we smashed that. I'm still expecting to see the market going even further. So yeah, today's Monday. Things might be quite a bit slower. But just know that, yeah, we are still on that nice uptrend. Maybe the market might try to bounce back and stuff, but it's fine. We already smashed this. So if you are part of the team, try to lock your profits, guys. Try to lock your profits. Don't fight the market and make sure that you can easily bounce back tomorrow at the moment it seems like the market is now trying to go even higher maybe we can go maybe on four hours time frame or maybe it's fine guys it's fine uh, we don't really need to go on four hours time frame i think you're not gonna get a uh, much of a different so yeah the market seems to be struggling a little bit around the, this area but i'm still expecting to see a proper a proper bullish move uh, as i'm still actually bullish on that so US 30, what's really happening on US 30? Uh, the market uh, it's actually on a very nice uptrend structure, uh, but we reached a, a level that we can call a, a resistant. A resistant area doesn't really mean that the, the, the structure is changing the trend. No, we just reached an, a level where the market uh, it's respecting. You see that? The market is respecting that level. So if it's going to respect that, it means there is a chance for the market to melt down again or maybe the market will end up thinking about breaking out of that so we can continue buying because we are already on this nice uptrend structure and that is actually what we want we did smash this one last week and i'm expecting to have that but since we had a proper buy last week i think this week we might have a consolidation structure week uh, before maybe we get the news from powell remember we are moving towards september and we we expecting uh, the rates cut i think around this area we might have some crazy moves but uh, let's just wait and see if maybe the market will be breaking out if it breaks out that will be good for us then we will be looking for that buy so let's push the next one which is actually nasdaq uh, on nasdaq here i think it's also quite straightforward uh, we are coming from a proper uptrend then after a smaller downtrend structure which it was actually aggressive after we broke out of that we expecting to see a very nice push to the upside and the market is still struggling but it's fine because we did smash the market here and there so now the market might respect this reach this area or consolidate around but what we want is to see the market breaking out and starting to go to the upside i'm still bullish you can see that the market is no longer on that uh, downtrend obviously the market is getting out so we expecting to see a nice bullish move uh, or a nice push to the upside i hope that makes sense so quite similar also to s p 500 yeah i think now i'm tired um let's see us oil yesterday i did us oil and i think i failed to see this part the market actually oh it was a smaller part there uh, the market created this gap the market moved from this to that so now we are seeing that the market is trying to sell but with this type of a gap there be extra careful because this might be a very nice bullish move the market might recover uh, there very quick the market might recover that uh, around this level very quick maybe before going down so at the moment i think it's enough uh, maybe the video is almost 30 minutes so if you want to be part of the team you know what to do pause that video let me know you can start to be a part of the team and you can start to eat with us so thank you very much this is kenzo extra out forex i'll see you on the next one bye